Hello everyone, my name is Derek from Addictive Tips. Uh, in this video we will be talking about how to install Cockpit. Now Cockpit is a project that's pretty famous. Uh, it's it gives you like a, a web user interface to manipulate uh, and view, view settings remotely. Um, a lot of people use this for servers, so if you're setting up a server, you know, you want to manage and manipulate your, uh, your stuff from afar over the internet, you can do that. In this video here, I'm going to be installing it on an Ubuntu VM that I use as a server. It's got a desktop, yes I know, but sometimes you need graphical interface for stuff. But uh, to get it installed on Ubuntu, we can use the terminal. And uh, if you're curious, if you do apt search cockpit, you should be able to see it. And uh, we see all the little cockpit packages here. And uh, to install it, all you need to do is just type in sudo apt install cockpit. And if you use a Linux distribution that's not as well known as Ubuntu server or Ubuntu just desktop like I'm using as a server, you can go ahead and install uh Install it through other distributions. It supports Debian, Arch Linux, uh, OpenSUSE, Fedora, CentOS. Uh, so for more information, just check my article and the link in the description. But uh, we're covering Ubuntu because most people use Ubuntu. And, uh, you know, that's how that goes. Once this is installed, we should be able to access Cockpit. We can just open up a browser. And uh, let's see. Got to deal with the privacy notice. Crap. So to access Cockpit, you will need to do a couple of things. Specifically, you just need to access the port. And the port is... So the port for Cockpit is just 9090. So you open up a new browser tab, and uh, if we're using this over the network, I would enter the IP address of the server, but uh, it's just faster for recording purposes to do it this way. Once you start up, you can log in with your username. So the username for this machine in particular is just Derek, and then my password is what the system password is. And uh, I can click login and uh, I'm accessing my cockpit and now I can see I'm running Ubuntu 1804.1 LTS. I can join a domain if I need to. I can restart the system. There are service information and uh, we'll be going over more about how you can use uh, you know cockpit and all the little options and features that it has but in this particular video and in the article that I wrote it's more about getting it running. And uh, I really like Cockpit because, honestly, out of all of the stat systems that I've talked about, uh, you know, easy management systems, I think Cockpit is my favorite just because it doesn't take a lot of skill to get going. Like, anybody can install it. You know, you don't need to be a wizard with Linux to use it. Anyways, guys, highly recommend this software. Please check it out. It's open source. Check my link in the description to learn how you can get it running. And I will see you in the next video.